welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. And you know, I posted the video on One Photo Raw. Max is coming, and I just want to be clear: Max is only one of the options available. It does seem to be the top tier version of On One that's going to be released this fall, and that's the version that will be standalone, and it will work as a plugin. That's all I understand for sure right now. As I get more information, I will definitely bring that information here to the channel. What I really wanted to do today is kind of talk about the Brilliance AI and how I think that this could either be a good thing or a less, a, a lackluster thing for the user base, all right? Now, to do that, we're gonna jump into the computer and take a look at the video. Here we are on the product page, I just the exact same product page. And if we take a look at the video, I have it paused at 18 seconds. You'll see Brilliance AI and underneath here, right? I'm not as worried about the slider itself. I think the slider is pretty self-explanatory. What is a mystery at the moment is this advanced section. I missed it in the initial, uh, my initial view of the video or my initial watch of the video. And as I was going back through it, I said, you know, that's interesting. And the reason that's interesting is because Brilliance AI actually compiles a few different things inside of it. And we can see that by looking further down on the product page. But for the sake of consolidating at least everything that I could find on the product page here, I just have a screenshot of all of them up on the page right now. So that way you can see it for yourself. And you can see that there's a few different options that Brilliance AI is going to be impacting. Now, the reason I call out this advanced section is maybe we'll be able to turn off or turn on which of those areas Brilliance AI is going to impact. And that's a huge mystery that I have for what's coming up in this new release. So the other thing that I want to show you is a little bit further in the video, and I have it paused at 24 seconds, is I don't see AI auto or AI match anymore. What that leads me to believe is maybe AI auto and AI match are inside of this advanced section of Brilliance AI, or Brilliance AI is replacing AI auto. And you know, for some people that could be like, eh, whatever, who cares? For me, I think that this could be value added if it starts to do a lot of the heavy lifting, but I still have the capability of going in and fine tuning what it is that I want to modify. Because we do know that this is going to impact no noise AI, portrait AI, and local adjustments, as well as the tone and color, right? Those four, we know that Brilliance AI is absolutely going to add that uh, or impact those areas of the edit module. This makes me believe Brilliance AI is really the tool that's going to help demystify, or at least I think, demystify photo editing inside of On One for the beginner market. Now, when I say beginner market, I'm really talking about someone who hasn't modified any photos or they just picked up a camera for the first time and they're stepping into the photo editing space, all right? We, for, for the beginner editor, I'll say it like that, they're going to need something that allows them to get in and make the edit happen, all right? They're gonna need something that allows them to step in and start editing photos, essentially. I think Brilliance AI is that bridge between making the complicated things like contrast, exposure, and highlight, shadows, midtones, all of those things, right? And for some of you, you may be like, Chris, that's not complicated. Then I would have to ask you, how long have you been editing photos? Because just remember back to the first time that you started editing photos and someone told you like, hey, there's a dynamic range in an image and it goes from full black essentially to full white. And then you have shadows, midtones, and highlights spread out in there. 
and just think about the complication that that was when you were initially learning and figuring out what sliders you needed to move. And I think that's where AI Auto really was helpful for that beginner. So I think that's what Brilliance AI is going to bridge the gap, all right? Now, we'll move forward just a little bit here. And you could see, honestly, with the tone and color, just for a second, you could see with the tone and color, it does all of the stuff that AI Auto was already doing. So there really is no need to have AI Auto. And I think that that's a smart move if the Brilliance AI is the thing that they're gonna jump to. What you can see though, is noise and sharpening is still inside of the develop module. What I will say is this is doing the exact same thing as AI Auto, at least in the tone and color. Where it gets more interesting is when we jump a little bit further ahead in the video and we go to local adjustments. Now, from the Brilliance AI, it added these foreground and background masks, but that's all it seems to add. So I'm a little iffy about this, right? Because the on one masking, the AI masking, it, you either hate it or you love it. And depending on what your view is of how good a mask should be by AI, that's how you'll determine if it's something you hate or love. Uh, and I'm not gonna compare it to other products, right? Because I think the best way of looking at this is how does it work for your photo, right? Now, obviously, if you are on the fence between do I get On One or do I get Lightroom or Luminar or Capture One or anything else on the market, then sure, look at how well the mask works. But if you are already all in with On One, like I am, I, I do use the software and I'm gonna get this version. You gotta ask yourself the question, how useful will this be for my photography? Notice that the demonstration is on a landscape image. It's not on a portrait, it's not on um, food photography. So just notice that. Now, I think that this would work well on portraits, right? On one is pretty solid with landscape and portrait photography. I think it gets iffy if you're into macro or if you're into food photography, product photography, uh, flat lays, all kinds of things where maybe there isn't a, I mean, there's usually always a really clear foreground and background. The point of this video or this segment of the video is just to let you know that Brilliance AI is so much more than just an AI auto. It is an AI auto, at least from what I understand from, again, this product page. It's an AI auto that goes beyond other or into other modules within On One. And there's some great capabilities and some exciting, interesting things that could happen down the line. Uh, but I won't speculate on those for right this second. Now, the next thing, we'll just pull on through here. And you can see that when you activate Brilliance AI, it opens up or it also activates the no noise AI. And the base edit that's at least on here, and I don't know how much of the Brilliance AI was actually applied, but it seems like it just applies, at least for this photo and the example that we have here, it applies no noise AI at 100% of the luminance and then 50% of the enhanced detail. A lot of people have said, and I personally agree, no noise AI can be a little heavy handed. And that's also, if you don't mind noise in your image, then you may not even want no noise AI on your photo. So. That's one of those things where you'll have to make a decision of what you think about no noise AI and Brilliance AI working together. I would personally like to have the control of turning that off. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to come down to no noise AI every time and turn that off. I wanna be able to turn off the connection between Brilliance AI and no noise AI in the advanced options 
for this particular tool. Now, the other thing that I'll point out on this particular tool is it doesn't look like Tack Sharp AI or the both option is being activated with Brilliance AI. So again, this all goes back to that very mysterious advanced options tool that we just haven't seen so far. Uh, and hopefully in the sneak peeks, we get to see that we can turn things off and on. Um, I think it would have been helpful to have that in this particular video but maybe that's like the uh the carrot that they dangle in front of us to make us get a little bit more excited about the release and the things building up to the release but there you have it i, I just wanted to kind of quickly go over brilliance ai because i think that it is a tool again geared towards beginner or starting photographers or photo editors that don't fully understand how to manipulate light in an image. And so On One's gonna do a lot of that heavy lifting. I know that a lot of people have mentioned uh, either in my comments or in forums that I've been a part of that On One is somewhat of a challenging software to learn how to edit in. And maybe this is their response to those inquiries or those comments. And I'm not opposed to that because I think that On One is probably one of the best starting programs on the market right now. Now, if you are looking to pick up On One Photo Raw 2024 or On One Photo Raw Max, then consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20. It'll save you some money at checkout and it's at no extra cost to you. So it's a win-win. You'll be supporting the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Hey, if you got questions, comments, let it, let it fly down in the comment section. I do read my comments and I do reply to my comments. So I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.